Welcome into Drew Silly Diamond for Saturday, November 9th, 2024. I am Drew Martin breaking down the slate of games. College football in order of kickoff coming your way right now. Let me know in the comments below where you agree, where you disagree. All is welcome. It helps out the algorithm, guys. What you're looking to bet today, tomorrow, NFL. Uh, feel free to throw it out there in the comments below. Smash that like button if you're liking the content. As we got first game up, 12 noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific. Bobby Dodd Stadium, Atlanta, Georgia. 70 degrees, partly sunny, 62 in the hook being the total, minus 11. That's the Miami Hurricanes as the road favorite. 9-0 and on the season, but guys, we're going after this from a totals perspective. If it is not broken, don't fix it. Miami, 8-1 and to the over. Nine games, eight of them have hit over. Last week hit over by 30 points against Duke. It was one of those situations, you know, my eyes went to Georgia Tech plus the 11 uh, with Haynes King kind of questionable, though. I laid off of it. I mean, of course, this is the Mar Mario Cristobal game from last year. You might remember Miami had it won. They didn't take a knee. They ended up fumbling, and Haynes King and company came back and uh, hit a couple big plays. I think Georgia Tech's going to hit some more big plays here. This Miami defense has kind of been their weak link. If you're looking to bet Miami, keep in mind they're only 5-4 and four against the spread because they've been letting up some big points here. Georgia Tech off of the bye. I think they're able to punch it in the, the end zone a couple times. I wouldn't be surprised if this gets north of 70, guys. So we're going to start off 62 and a hook. Bobby Dodd Stadium over for Georgia Tech and Miami. We got next one up. We're going to hit the 3.30 Eastern hour here. AAC battle. Interesting handicap here. Army in North Texas. This one on ESPN2 from Denton, Texas. Does look like 70 degrees. The weather forecast says pleasant and sunny. Uh, Army minus three-point road favorites, 62 to as high as 63 being the total. Story here is Army's quarterback daily. He looks to be a little bit banged up. As I'm doing the show Friday evening here, it's still unknown if he's going to be playing. Uh, quote, unquote, good chance he makes the trip uh, to Denton. That was uh, a, a yesterday's quote from their head coach, um, the, Jeff Munkin, the head coach of Army. Guys, I'm going after this from another totals perspective. North Texas, seven of their eight games this season have gone over the total. They're off of a bye week as well. Their quarterback, Morris, near 3,000 yards passing, 26 touchdowns already on the season. They have six straight overs by almost 100 points more than the closing total, meaning they're being underpriced here. Add in the good weather, and their defense has let up 35-plus points in five of the last six games. I think Army, even if their quarterback doesn't play, uh, the backup would now have one game under his belt. Um, and running the option, I think they're going to be able to score a bunch, guys. I, I think this total is too low. 62, good weather. I think we're getting, getting some points on Saturday, guys. We're going North Texas, the Mean Green, and the Army Black Knights, over 62 we got next one up here also 330 eastern it's michigan in indiana in the big 10 uh, of course the story here well first off it's uh the hoosiers minus 14 in the hook 49 being the total 330 on cbs memorial stadium bloomington indiana 60 degrees does look to be a little cloudy shouldn't be too big of a problem weather wise as Indiana comes in, I mean, they have just been cashing some tickets. How about the Hoosiers? One of the best stories in college football. 9-0 and straight up, 8-1 and against the spread. Of course, Curtis worked their quarterback a little bit banged up. The backup came in. Uh, he did a great job. I, I'm, I'm done betting against Indiana, guys. I really am. I went against them with Washington, what was that, two or three weeks ago on the show. Uh, not doing it again. This is a covering machine. It's the profile of... They didn't cover week one against FIU and then have rattled off eight in a row. I love betting on that type of profile. In Michigan, it, it, the good offenses that they're facing, they're letting up some points here. I mean, they just let up 38 points to Oregon. I, I see it kind of the same situation as playing the Ducks. And they were at home against the Ducks. Now they're on the road here in Bloomington. I think Indiana is going to be able to score some points. I don't love the hook on the 14. That's what's keeping it off of a, of a client play. But I think Indiana wins by like 20 points, something of that nature, like 40 to 20. I think it's the Hoosiers over the Wolverines. We also got 330 Eastern, a big one in Oxford, Mississippi. It's the Georgia Bulldogs and the Old Miss Rebels. Looks like, what, 54? 
four being the total, minus two and a hook. That's the Bulldogs as the road favorite. We have seen a tick down, kind of interesting for old Miss games sometimes, but that speaks to the weather, guys. Looks like cloudy, humid, thunderstorms in the forecast. So watch out here in uh, what northern Mississippi, Vaught Hemingway Stadium, Oxford, Mississippi. I think this comes down Kirby Smart versus Lane Kiffin, the two former uh, colleagues at Alabama, the offensive coordinator there under Nick Saban and the defensive coordinator there. We actually went over this in uh, Drew's Daily Diamond, the college football opening line on Monday. And I pointed out Georgia um, minus the two and a half. I, I thought it would get to three as I'm talking right now. There's still two and a half out there. And I, I just think they have more talent, guys. And I actually think the weather is going to help the Bulldogs a little bit more than the Rebels in this one. I know Carson Beck, he's got to clean it up with the interceptions. But Old Miss, I mean... What, running it up against Arkansas? Yeah, I guess you could say it sparks their offense. But I think this Georgia defense is going to be tough. I really do. I mean, they haven't been great against the number, but that's with laying more than two touchdowns in all but one of those. With this one, kind of a competitive point spread here. I think the Bulldogs take it. I would lay under a field goal here, minus two and a half, with the Georgia Bulldogs over the Ole Miss Rebels. Got one more for you. Uh, in the SEC, a reminder, if you could uh, if you could comment below, that helps out the algorithm, guys, uh, where you agree, where you disagree, as we're breaking down a bunch of games here on Saturday. And we got the recap for you. Now, granted, this is going into the weekend. I don't have the Friday results uh, yesterday's show, which four picks on the slate. But uh, Thursday, we went one and one. That brings us to 55 and 37. That's 60 per- 60 percent going each and every day for free on the YouTube channel here, Drew's Daily Diamond, 55 and 37, 60% plus 14 units flat, meaning a $100 better is up $1,400, betting every single game given out over the last six weeks, guys, 60% for free right here on the Wager Talk YouTube channel. Check out Premium Picks, Drew Martin Experts page, wagertalk.com, got the Got the uh, 4% five pack up for Saturday here with the client plays. A couple of them we didn't go over on the show, but uh, yeah, huge discount there. So uh, got the Sunday Sunday slate coming in as well. We got last game up. We'll call it the nightcap. It is uh, what, 7 p.m. Eastern time in Knoxville, Tennessee. This one on ESPN, Neyland Stadium. It is 62 the total, minus 24 and a half. That's the Volunteers hosting the Mississippi State Bulldogs. Guys, going after the total again. I mentioned it at the top. I think there's points on Saturday. 62 is too low in this one. We get uh, Josh Heupel in this offense. It's the type of offense when they can run it up. You want to look to bet on them. Now, does it correlate with the 24 and a half? Maybe it does. However, I think this back door might be opened as well because head coach Jeff Levy for the Mississippi State Bulldogs you know, he's a longtime offensive coordinator. He'll run it up as well. There's going to be a lot of plays ran in this game in Knoxville. In Tennessee, you know, they played five straight solid defenses. Kentucky, Alabama, Florida, Arkansas, and Oklahoma. They're taking a step down in the in the caliber of athlete they're facing defensively for Mississippi State. Before they played that, that kind of five-game stretch against those pretty good defenses, They averaged over 60 points in their first three games. So I think they're actually going to return to really putting up the offensive numbers here. And when you go towards the Mississippi State side of things, their defense has led up 34 plus points to the last seven teams they've played. The last seven offenses they've played, they've led up 34 plus points. In all of them, not named UMass. I mean, the Florida Gators scored 45. Arkansas scored 58. I think Tennessee is going to put put up some numbers here. Mississippi State 7-2 and two to the over as well, speaking to the defensive inefficiencies. Guys, we're getting, we're getting into the 70s in this one. 62 is too low. Mississippi State and Tennessee over the total. That's going to do it for the Saturday show. Come back and join us for the Sunday show. NFL coming your way. I am Drew Martin, Premium Picks, wagertalk.com. Comment below, smash that like button. Thanks for tuning in. Cash those tickets. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday, guys.